Clearance tags usually mean saving money, but for some, it's about making it. This year, we're on pace to do about $4 million in sales. Ryan Grant teaches folks the online reselling biz, where you buy items at a low price and sell them for a profit online. Last Christmas, we were selling copies of the board game Pie Face. Uh, it was available in stores for between about $10 and $13, oftentimes when it was on sale. And we were selling it anywhere between about $45 and $55 online. That's around a 350% markup. Want to try? Here are the steps. First, you'll want to download and sign up with Amazon Seller. It's a free app that lets you scan products to see how much they're going for on Amazon. Let's check it out. After you set up the app, hit the road and head to a big box store. In our case, Wally World. All right, now it's time for the next step, where we're going to run through the aisles to find the items. It's like a scavenger hunt where we buy low and sell high. Ryan suggests hitting every section and looking for those tags that mark a low price. Check out these air filters. I whipped out my phone, scanned the barcode, and boom, money. So on Amazon, 26 bucks. At Walmart, 15 bucks. That's an 11 buck difference in your pocket. I did the same with the Instapot. 10 bucks in profit. Don't you want 10 bucks? I do. Now this microwave is about $70, but on Amazon, 84.34, that's like 15 bucks. I'm in the money. Every time I come around your city, bling, bling. We even found a TV that could get you about 260 bucks in profit if you sold it on Amazon. Now we're ready for the final step in reselling, post, pack, and ship. When someone buys your stuff, you ship it, then Amazon will pay you and help with your shipping costs once the buyer gets their order. Sure, Amazon takes a fee from each sale, but making your own website and getting as much traffic as they do, that's a lot of work. Of course, business is risky, but Ryan has some advice. The app is going to tell you exactly what you get paid after all fees, and we really found that it starting with a 50% return on investment or higher is a good spot to start. Cashing in on clearance items on the lowdown.